Hi YouTube, this is your girl Sandra aka Simply Love and I'm here to do your monthly reading for June 2017. It's going to be for the sign of Virgo. How you Virgos doing out there? And welcome to my channel. Um, already meditated over the cards, already pre-shuffled um, uh, to get the energies out here for you. I'm reading for Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign and remember that these cards are not gen gender oriented because male and female are watching the videos so um let's get on with the reading <laughs> see what's going on with some of you virgos out there might not pertain to all of you now if it doesn't pertain to to you um you're welcome to watch your um moon and rising sign of my other videos where they may get more messages that may relate to you if you need a personal private reading just you know what to do all the stuff is all the shit I got is down below and all you have to do is call me okay <laughs> so here we go I'm tired y'all I've been through a lot today I'm tired so I apologize for that but I'm going to get your readings out here for you okay um your overall energy let me get your overall energy Libra which um Libra Virgo okay Virgo 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 please don't put in the comments oh you said so and so I know I'm correcting it Virgo <laughs> You got the Ace of Swords, and that's telling me that there's something that you're overcoming right now, or something you have overcome, uh, something that you finally seen the light on, and you was like, it's like, ah, it's like an aha moment for a lot of you Virgos out there. It's like, and then you defeated it. Whatever it is, truth came out. There was some truth here that needed to be seen, and it came out, and you were victorious over this truth. You overcome it. Um, you seen the light. Uh, you faced the truth of a situation and you conquered it. Okay, that's what this is all about. So that's your overall energy is that something you faced the truth about in your life regarding a love situation, and you um, you overcame it. You you know you're you were victorious over the truth instead of trying to hide from it or not deal with it. You decided to just cut through the bullshit and um, do what you had to do for this situation whether it was good or not good okay so first time we come with the four chalices okay the four cups is, is called and this is something where somebody's this could be you could have been dealing with the um cancer pisces or scorpio it could be their moon sun moon or rising sign or it could be you in your sun moon and rising sign acting like this where um Something happened that was very disappointing in love because that's what cups are about your emotion. Your emotions were drained. I'm hearing for some of you, your emotions are drained. That's why those cups are spilt. You're just tired of something and you and this whatever tried to come back in or wanted to offer you something. You're just like you just was just too tired, too drained. Um and it took a lot out of you and you are actually rejecting that cup there or it got your back turned to it but don't give up yet virgo because there's other there's two offers of cups here that's still full and they're blessings because the cups is coming from the skies anytime you see something coming from the skies your angel guides and your spirit guides are trying to direct you and give you something uh so don't worry about what's been spilt now don't cry over it don't Heal yourself and move away from this old baggage because once it's all spilt out, there's no putting it back in the cup. But there is other opportunities there for a lot of you Virgos. I hear that some may, for some of you Virgos, this may be happening to you or you doing this to someone else where you're just refusing some type of uh, offer that somebody's trying to give you. But it seems like it's the same old offer and you're just tired of it is what I'm hearing. And you're refusing it. You don't want it anymore. Or that person don't want you anymore. It could go both ways. Um, so now I'm dealing with the eight of chalices. You got a lot of emotional shit going on, Virgo, uh, male and females. Okay, so um, again, this is about saying fuck it. Okay, <laughs> sorry that uh, I don't know why that cursing angel guide is here tonight for Virgos, but they are, okay, they here, and, um, this is turning your back on this emotional baggage, this is leaving some things behind, this is like changing, this is like moving forward, um, yeah, it was hurtful, yes, it was hard, 
but there was lessons to be learned out of this situation you know you turned down something you know that probably came back for you got what was this four cups maybe it happened four times maybe you've been with somebody for four years um maybe you've uh and maybe this like i said happened four times okay because it's an even numbers number four it could have took place eight times four plus four is eight so they could have done you could have been going through this for a while with this person but you gave up you're like no I'm, I'm out or that other person was is doing this i'm out you know these these uh you done. A, you put a lot of investment in this person. There was a lot of emotional investment with this person, but you decided to walk away because I feel like you felt like you were being neglected. They didn't take your feelings into consideration. Okay, Virgo, that's what I'm hearing. Your feelings were not taken in consideration. Or you could swing it around. For some of you, you may have been doing this to someone else. And the next card we have is the Five of Pentacles. I call that the moving on card from, you know, heartache and pain, you know, from being kicked out, maybe from someone's house or some you kicking someone else out, but you you carried on with someone else, even though you still had some baggage or hurt, you're getting over it. There's somebody here that's going to help you or you're going to help someone else who is in pain or got kicked out or... Maybe you were with before, or maybe they was with you before, and you decide to come back together to make things, to mend things. This, you know, this is mending, this is healing, because something here was in balance. Um, I think most of the signs I read for so far had this same card, this imbalance situation where they had to leave something, and the retrograde helped make that happen too. This retrograde that we had. And these full moons, it helped us face ourselves and see who we really are, see what we really want. The devil is in this picture. I don't know what side it's on. I can't remember. There they go. See that devil peeking around the corner there? They're, they don't like this. They don't like whoever it is, either you moving on or this other person moving on. Whoever you were with here that you were bound and tied to emotionally, they don't like it. They're in the background. They're, they're sneaking. They're, they're, somebody could be stalking you with seeing you with this other person they could be in the background stalking so be careful virgos if this is happening to you this is your energy okay um and but there's angels um, fairies here that may be that i'm thinking hearing is protecting you so don't worry don't worry too much but they are in the background and they are very concerned about this new relationship or you moving on with someone else they still want to be in the picture now for just because you're moving on with somebody else but i feel like those fairies that's there they're keeping them away from you because they're very toxic they gave you a hard time they gave you a hard way to go yes yes they did but there's somebody that the God, the angels or the fairies has sent to you to help you, you know, get back on your feet and, and, and help you to move forward like you want to. Or vice versa, you could be doing this to someone else. But hey, your overall call is you got victory, baby. You got victory. You win. You won. Okay? You won. Period. Point blank. I'm so proud of you, Virgos, because y'all went through it. You can go through my videos in the past. You can see I really was getting down on y'all. But I'm glad we got to this point now. And it was for a reason and a purpose. Um, you got the nine of chalices. Which means, you know, some type of happiness. Some type of joy. You know, all those uh, cups. is some, kind, some type of uh, enjoying yourself. Some of y'all might be <laughs> drinking and carrying on. You know, because you, you lifted this emotional baggage or burden that you had so you're feeling like relieved it's like some of y'all taking a deep breath and just going <sighs> finally now i can just let go and go on with my life that's what i'm hearing when i hurt here that card it could have been with a cancer pisces or scorpio because you got a lot of uh emotional god had a lot of emotional stuff going on here with you uh virgo if not it was with somebody else was like this with you okay so we got the um what is this the queen or the king of swords where you finally put your sword up and saying hey you, you cross you can't cross the line here um 
I got my, I'm pulling myself back together. Okay. Putting, putting myself back together. I'm holding my, standing my ground this time. That's what I'm hearing. I'm standing my ground this time. So don't come my way. You see my sword up here now. I ain't, I don't have it pointed at you, but if you come too far, you're going to get it. Okay. That's this Aquarius, Gemini or Libra type person. Um, somebody not, somebody drawing the, somebody's drawing the line, you know, saying, you know, or, or coming up with some kind of, um, what am I hearing the word some, c coming up with some, uh, restrict, restrict, like, uh, somebody ain't taking no shit. Okay. Let me just put it that way. I ain't got all night to be, you all know what I mean. <laughs> the queen or the king ain't putting up with no stuff. They being very meticulous and very cautious. Cause and they're protecting their self with their sword. Did I have that upside down? They're protecting their self from somebody, okay? That may be trying to attack them. And then we got the wheel of fortune. Now that you've, you know, guarded yourself, protecting yourself, you're being protected by angel guides as well as you're moving forward with this new person in your life, or some for some of you, somebody you already know. Some of you just got divorced. And everything's settled. Somebody's still mad about something, the divorce or the breakup. But you're going to be okay because you're protected. You're smart. Um, the wheel of fortune is going in your way now. You had to get rid of something in order for something. You wanted to turn your life around. You wanted a brand new start. And that's what you're getting, Virgo. Yay! Finally, Virgos! I'm so proud of you guys. Yes, 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 yes. Hey, Y'all ain't taking no stuff. You hey, you let the wheel turn in your favor. You're just letting this thing, you know, your brand new life move on. And then next I have is the chariot. Yes, another major arcana card. The wheel of fortune is a major arcana. Okay. Could be dealing with a cancer. Some of y'all could be dealing with a cancer that you're moving forward with. You're taking charge again of your life. You feel like you're in charge. You feel like you're back to yourself. Because I feel like in some relationship that was toxic, you you felt like you were lost. You lost some. You, you lost yourself with this person, but now you've gained control of yourself again. And this card is very good in this love relationship because you're just moving. You're charging forward, and you're not looking back. You're not looking back. You're going forward. Congratulations, Virgo. Um, the next card we have is the sun. Wow, you guys and girls. It's all about fun now. It's all about happiness. It's all about joy. It's all about getting everything that you want, how you want it, when you want it. The sun is finally shining your way. You're gonna get what you want out of out of your life because you move forward. You know, you open you open those gates up, okay? You the one took charge of your life again. You're the one made this wheel of fortune because it was always there. It never it, it it didn't just never just pop up. It's always been there, but there was a blockage here. Some emotional blockage with someone with like the devil is what I'm seeing. Not the devil card, but in in that five of uh five of pentacles there is a devil looking around the corner like that's who they left or that's who you left alone and now you're walking with someone else and they don't like it but you're being protected you got the sun baby that's happiness so so proud of you guys congratulations to a lot of you give me a call let me know what's going on here because this is beautiful for the for the month of june for a lot of you virgos out there i'm proud of you now, to get to your bonus cards before I end the reading, okay, um, you got the magician, all the tools necessary to do whatever the heck you want to do, to manifest what you want out of your life, you got it going on, Virgos, okay, a lot of you Virgos out there, congratulations. I am the master of my fate, I am the captain of my ship. That's exactly who you are, and that's what you're going to make happen. Look at that. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune. Is that the Wheel of Fortune? No, that's the Sun Happiness, okay? You got all these great cards here. The Chariot. Moving forward. Making the stuff happen in your life that you want to make happen. Because you're the magician. You can pull it off. Wheel of Fortune. 
things turning in your favor. I mean, look at this. Look at this. This is June. This is what's happening to a lot of you Virgos out there. And I'm so happy to see this. I really am. I used to get nervous when you guys, when I used to read y'all cards. I would get nervous and stuff. Bust out in a cold sweat. Some of y'all, I had to get, you know, I got a little, spirit guys got a little funky. But, you know, it ha it is what it is. Okay, now your next card is decision, okay? Release yourself from that which holds you back, which I see you doing that in the month of June for a lot of you Virgos. You're releasing it from which doesn't hold, that holds you back. A need to detox. That means it's time to hold back. It's time to um, rejuvenate yourself. It's time to release those negative energies that was caused by a toxic relationship or a <coughs> very emotional very um codependent type relationship somebody was all about their self okay so you have to detox that you have to let that energy go you got to forgive as well you know because you got to think you allow this to happen to yourself so forgive that person forgive yourself move on with your life because you got to you opened yourself up to it so now you're on you got a clear path virgo um, unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence. Hey, come on, like, don't be the lack of self-confidence because you're the magician. <clears throat> you got all the tools necessary to make happen what you want. You got the wheel of fortune where you opened yourself up. You had to let something go for the wheel of fortune to come in to go your way, right? So what's don't don't have lack of self-confidence. Don't do that when you got all this good stuff coming. Why? Why even go through that if you're going to have lack of self-confidence? Don't do that. Have confidence. Because you got too many good things in here for you. They all major arcana. Okay? And like I said, it's all about forgiveness. Forgive yourself and forgive others and just move the hell on. Shit happens, Virgo. Okay? You're doing very, very great. Great reading. Now I'm going to take my cards, Simply Love's affirmation cards um i have some more in thank you all who purchased them i appreciate it uh put a lot of hard work and effort into these cards i really love them and it's just going to give a final word before closing virgo you had a very good reading very good i'm so proud of you guys who moving on and just letting old stuff go but don't have a luck lack of self-confidence after all these good major arcana cards is happening for you did it yourself you the one did it, so there's no use in being, you know, having lack of self-confidence. It's saying have confidence. Release yourself from which that holds you back. Move forward. Free yourself. You see that woman letting that uh, dove or bird go? That's you. Free yourself from that. And I see you doing it. Now, the card that fell out says, when they move, you move. Just like that. <laughs> That one really got to my funny bone, okay? Look, when they move, you move too, okay? That's all they saying, and that fits right in with the picture. If they feel like they want to move on, look, you move on too. And don't worry about it because you're going to be fine, okay, Virgo? Thank you so much for viewing my channel. I hope that made sense to a lot of you. Um... I am going to be putting out a video. I haven't forgot about the uh, picking the uh, winners for naming my second channel. I ain't forgot about it. It's just taken me a while to choose because all of them were so wonderful. Okay, so keep a lookout for that video. If you're not subs subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you on board. Simply love, okay? Love is all there is and love is all there ever be. Y'all remember that. You deserve love. You're lovable. I love you, Virgos. Y'all doing great. Hang in there. And if any of y'all still have some problems or just need some um some confidence or you just need some confirmation, give me a call. Y'all know my number, okay? Talk to me. Talk to y'all later. Bye. <laughs>